Hello, Bruja. Hi. <laughs> what up? How are you? I'm well. I'm well. I got a little bit of face paint on tonight. Uh, was the last day of my 21 day releasing ceremony, which we still are kind of in the energy of the new moon. So that okay. was really great. And we closed the ceremony out by dancing. Amazing. Would you ever just dance, just dance, like, and feel how your vibration rises? Absolutely. Absolutely. And so that actually can kind of segue us into what we're going to talk about tonight, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody sees it says vibrant thing, vibrant thing. Y'all remember the song? I actually think he was saying vibrant, which probably isn't a word, but you know, the Q tip song. <laughs> yes. But Talk vibrant. Q tip like that? <laughs> actually, Q tip, I already said Q tip is the reason I never dyed my hair blind because he said, honey, check it out. You got me mesmerized with your black hair. With and your and, 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 okay, now I'm going to listen to Tribe after we get off. Listen, and so that was like, I was like, oh, I'll keep my black hair for Q-tip, but um, so. He, he was kind of cute. He was short, but he was cute. He was he cute. Was short. He just had, he had the swag, the little voice. He you did. Know? He yeah. bagged Janet. He bagged Janet. Remember, he dated Janet, so something yeah. about the man. Yep, yep, well, but then if you watch the documentary on Janet, you kind of like, she a little strange bird. She a little strange bird. I haven't watched it. It's good. I'm it's to, good. I'm gonna have to put it on my list of things to do. She's she a little strange bird, but it's okay. We all are, right? Yeah, <laughs> for sure. A stranger the better. Exactly. Exactly. And that was one of the things we even talked about. Someone was like, you know, being, you know, they were ready to release self judgment and shame and, you know, just be the little odd person that they are. And I was like, I hear that so much that I'm kind of certain that the majority of us are weirdos, but we all repress it. So that we can be accepted. But really, you're sitting next to a weirdo. You're a weirdo. We're all weirdos. Absolutely. A safe space to be weird and and nobody cares. And I'm in that space. And I don't know if it was age or awakenings, but um, but it's helped with my vibration. And so that's what we want to talk about tonight, actually. Okay. Vibrating higher, right? And the conundrum comes because, yes, you know, there is a lot of spiritual bypassing going on where it's like love and light, love and light, positive vibes mm -hmm. only. And it fully negates the whole person. But we're, we're not talking about that extreme. Tonight, yeah. we want to talk about the importance of vibrating higher or doing the things that keep your energy in a higher frequency. Uh, mm -hmm. We wanted to make sure that this podcast was helpful to people and we're a resource and tool. So um, that's what we're talking about. My bruja, my goddess bruja, if you wanted to expound on what it means, like what vibration, how is vibration, how does it show up in our lives, in our physics, our physical body, our mm -hmm. emotional, spiritual body, and the importance of intentionally vibrating higher yeah so i could say as a bruja everything like so much so my my practice is really um based in the belief that everything has a vibration right everything especially anything rooted in nature and as human beings obviously we come from nature we have our vibration the earth has its vibration our environment has a vibration to it Anytime I do ritual or spell work, I'm imbuing that with a vibration and energy, right? Everything literally is energy slash vibration. So it's really important. Um, and, you know, when I talk a lot about spiritual bypassing. I am not big on it. Um, and I think it's really common. However, I think, yes, it is really important. Number one, let me just say that it's really important to always um, try to engage in a mindset, an awareness, practice, ritual, everything that keeps your vibrations high. At the same time, though, um, and this is, I just want to add that in there with the bypassing, not to the detriment 
of ignoring the triggers and suppressing them, right? Because that's where the healing is. So really the ideal way, vibrate high, yes, all the time. But um, also when you do notice yourself vibing low, listen to what that's telling you so you can do the healing and then get right back to vibing high. But yeah, vibrations are, are super important. It's like, I guess it's, it, I would say it's the basis of everything that I do and I believe in. So, yeah. Yeah. So I 1000% agree with everything you said. Um, everything is energy. And that's why I think that's a beautiful thing because that's proven in science. Every, every living thing, everything mm -hmm. that, you know, um, and so, you know, a lot of times we say spirituality and, and science is we're saying the same stuff, mm -hmm. different language, you know? Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I feel is really important and it goes to the science, right? You know, epige epigenetics, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is basically how our behaviors shape our DNA yeah. in a way that is actual reversible or changeable, right? So when we find ourselves living in the low vibration, right? Li living. So I always say that like, Everybody has experienced some form of trauma. Mm -hmm. Some of us operate from it. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Some yep. of us, you know, we heal and we and we grow, but some of us are still living in it and operating from it. So, yeah. yes, I think, you know, definitely we, for every action, there's a, a, an opposite action. There's a pendulum and we have to be okay with the, the whole person and accepting the highs, the lows, the dark, the light. But when you succumb to letting a low vibrational pull just lead you and staying there, then one, yeah. you know, and not, you know, not to dismiss how hard it is to pull yourself out of that space, but you're not doing the work necessarily. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so then it begins to change your DNA. So, you know, yeah. we talk about, oh, heart disease is, it, it runs in my family, but it's reversible. So what actually mm -hmm. gets transferred down is your response to the stimuli and how you respond to it. Absolutely. And, yeah. And that is how you, you accept or intentionally change the vibration, hence changing your physiological response to it and mm -hmm. your spiritual response to it. And you know, it's very important to me that we realize that we have ancestors, but we are also ancestors already. Yeah. Already. And so when you change your DNA and your response, you're changing the line that is to come. Because in my experience, we reincarnate through our lineage, through our line. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we reincarnate into somebody random. Yeah. We reincarnate through our lines. So heal your line by focusing and being intentional with how you vibrate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you ever um, heard of Gabriel Mate? I think that's how I'm probably butchering that man's last name, but he's, he's a medical doctor, but he has done an amazing, if you guys can um, watch it, please do. It's called the wisdom of trauma. And basically he goes into this, um, th that's the basis of, of this documentary, which is really the basis of his life's work is that, you know, trauma changes us on a physical level, psychological level. It is essentially the root of all of our medical problems, all of our emotional problems, this, that, and the other, but we do not necessarily register at all as trauma, right? Because when people hear the word trauma, they automatically are thinking of something like, traumatic you know what i mean like drastic like something like force, a limb like a, falling off right like yeah like a blunt force like a ray for you know something like that yeah it's exactly and so like it, it's funny because um like whenever i'm like i have a client and i'm doing spiritual coaching one of the things that i'm always preaching and i'm really like it's balance right balance right you use those low moments as teachers right mm -hmm. and yes sometimes I, I always get cautious because what i don't want people to do is to hear 
let's vibe high, vibe high, vibe high. That's how you heal. That's where the work is. Or if you're not vibing, you're not doing the work because um, I don't, a lot of people I think take that and that's how we get into spiritual bypassing. A lot of people automatically take that as, oh, it's my shortcut. Let me fake it till I make it. You know what I mean? Type of a deal. Like I'm, I'm feeling bad right now. I don't, you know, I don't want this. Instead of saying, no, wait a minute. Why am I feeling bad right now? What's happening right now? Like address that. That is really where the work is in, in my humble opinion. And then that should be used um, sort of as a way to transition you into the vi high vibrational moments. But also those high vibrational moments should also be used to leverage your healing, right? Like, yeah, to a degree, do some faking it till you make it, but um, don't suppress, right? Don't mm -hmm. suppress. And I really do think it's important that people take some time. It's so easy because spirituality right now is the it thing, right? So some people, they're tired of hearing trauma. They're tired of hearing healing. They're tired of hearing the word spirituality. It's all overused right now. So I think people hear it and they like sort of roll their eyes at it. But um, I think the key to staying more in those high vibrational moments is taking a look at your trauma for sure. Like you hit on something with that. Like that's where the work is for sure, right? So I don't know. That's just my two cents on it. Uh, there's uh, like I was like, ooh, there's, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a lot. Like ooh, there's a lot to unpack there, and even just, even just how you said people are tired of these these words on trend right mm -hmm. to me sometimes i feel like when i find myself getting agitated by somebody using word certain words i'm like oh actually what's that about you know yeah like, so you're you know, doing the work you're questioning the trigger you're doing yeah. the work you know? yeah yeah and and it does give you an awareness because if you don't find the root of the trigger then you're just gonna keep getting that lesson until you're yeah. ready to you actually pass it or you know um, absolutely yeah so okay well so what would you like what would be some activities um and you can answer either of these questions yeah what are some things that you you think could be habits or ritual to help someone who you know who wants to create the practice. So not anyone that's down, you know, yeah, yeah. needing help to, to get out of a rut, but someone who wants to create a practice of being intentional about yeah. moving in a high vibration or what would be some things you could answer that or you could answer some things that you may just at, on a whole. And as we say this, there every situation is different. Every person is different. We do know that. Yeah. We're just speaking kind of generically. But what yeah. would be some things you would advise um, people generally to stay away from? Like, okay, people who uh, who continuously try to to diminish, mm -hmm. stay away from those people. Like, so what? Yeah. You know, who's one of those questions. So, <laughs> so for me. I, I think it's a, a, you have to take like an all hands on deck kind of approach. And this is really happening. And again, this is probably the Bruja in me speaking. Pero this is my sincere sentiment about it. Like, I'll, for example, um, I've worked in some pretty like heavy uh, work environments where the energy was just like off. And even though I came in every day like this, you know, like at a certain point, my vibe was down here by the end of the day it was down here. So I had to employ like some strategies that brought in the spiritual, the logical, like the, it, cause that's another thing that sort of, I think we, some people get so caught up in the spiritual aspect that they lose sight of the fact that they're a soul in a physical body, in a physical world. Right. And the whole point is we're, tr we're here to integrate and figure out how that all works together because it's all interconnected. So like for me, for example, I'm, I'm using herbs, I'm using crystals, first of all, to neutralize the energy. Affirmations, I'm really big on affirmations, especially if I'm entering into an environment that I know um, is filled with people 
that, you know, have a tendency to bring me down. If it's something I can't avoid, then those are the tactics that I use. You know what I mean? Um, and some people, you know, they might think so, oh, like that sounds simple, but really it is really that simple, right? It really is that simple. Um, just all hands on deck, really. And a lot of times just giving voice to what it is in that environment uh, is a big piece of releasing it and not carrying it so that it does not weigh my vibration down, right? Mm -hmm. So like um, just saying, you know what? Yes, I'm about to go into this office. These people are going to test me. They're going to try me. But that's okay. Like, that's a reflection. Just remember, that's a reflection of them, not of me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And just talking, speaking it out loud like that, but also the, the practice of talking to myself, um, that automatically, like, raises my vibration. You know what I mean? For me, and for everybody, it's different. But for me, I'm always more, um, my first plan of action is always to neutralize my energy before raising it. You know what I mean? So I'm always yeah. looking to be grounded first. And then from there, I can raise it. Um, and that's just, that's what feels safe for me. You know what I mean? That's what feels safe for me. And I realize not everybody, you know, some people can automatically do that. But um, yeah, so I, I stay all hands on deck, but employ the spiritual, the physical, everything. You know what I mean? Yes. And so, so I... <laughs> I hate watching myself on these things because I feel like I'm so hyper. <laughs> I feel like, ah! And I know people who don't know me probably think I'm like this calm, you know, zen person. But I'm really like, I get excited. I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you were saying about neutralizing your energy, I was thinking, because at first I was like, you know, one of the things that helps me is what I listen to, right? Mm -hmm. I think there are some very, Free, um, some bi binary beats, you know, mm -hmm. or even I mm -hmm. love listening to Eckhart Tolle because he's just like a yeah. elf, like you know, he just calms me. But before of an elf. we get to, <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> so, um, but before we get to that, the neutralization, right? I was thinking, how do you neutralize? You know, how some people need to exert aggressive mm -hmm. energy. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, turn on some Tupac. Yeah, you know. Kendrick Lamar is my my go to. <laughs> That's my the girl. Kendrick, my ancestors Kendrick Lamar is my go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you need to neutralize it if you've got if you've got this energy that's trying to escape your body. Give it yep. a place. Give it a. A to go to get out. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can make space for the high vibration, but. And, and that's, again, going back to you don't want to bypass what you're feeling because it's there right. for a reason. Give it a place to go and then invite in the high vibration. Um, and like, because I'm big on my crystals, like I will hold a crystal in my hand and do a quick meditation, right? Um, that's really, for me, that helps 99% of the time. Um, yeah. So next time we'll talk about crystals, ladies and gentlemen, gods and goddesses. Um, but one of the things that I found that will keep me in the negative vibration, especially when we talk about work, is mm -hmm. complaining. Mm -hmm. so one thing to verbalize, and it's okay to complain, not saying it's not, but consistently complaining about the same thing, I found would totally bring my energy and keep it down. And now I'm operating, like now I'm sharing. It's like spreading yeah. the disease. Yeah. And yeah. what I realize is, you know, okay, stop the complaining and find a solution if you can, right? Yeah. So I'm very verbal at work and have been since corporate America on my boundaries and what we can mm -hmm. do to solve the situation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very much on, so I'm solution oriented and driven. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that helps. But yeah, uh, so I'll say to, to that end, what, what has also helped me sort of to that end, not getting into that energy with any situation, whether it's with friends, work, whatever. Um, I just always remind myself, I'm not taking this shit personally because they're not directing that at me. That's them. That's whatever's going on in here. Right. I'm just 
I know what lane I'm in. My reality is mine right now. They're going through whatever the fuck it is they're going through. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if I can curse. Whatever. Um, <laughs> you know try to refrain from cursing. You know that's hard for me. Um, you shouldn't. Refrain. Yeah, but like to that end, not to get into the to the energy of complaining and this, that, and the other. I'll give it a voice once. Yes. And that's it. After that, like I'm just they're playing their role. I'm playing mine. Yeah. That and and what she said about not taking it personally. And it's not to say you don't address when someone has an affront on you. However, mm -hmm. you understand that how people behave is about them, yep. not about us. That That's is it. the most freeing, one of my most freeing lessons. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Because then you're not in this energy anymore. You're not. Uh, and I used to say this before I became a bruja. But now it's especially it holds a lot of weight. I always tell people, get off of other people's roller coasters, make a decision on how you're going to feel, how you're going to move, regardless of what everybody else in the room is going to do. Check them and check them once. That's all it takes. All That's it all takes. it takes. The rest is their journey. The rest is what they're doing with it. Now you're doing what you're going to do with it. That's it. It yes. makes things so much easier. Like, and that's not to say that you're not going to get pissed off or that you might not have those moments where people are going to drag you into this low vibration, but it's so much easier to take yourself out of it when you look at it like that. You know how I realized I had either gotten over taking things personally or I had, had or I had not gotten over it is I will, I will take inventory of myself when I'm driving. And if I get agitated because somebody cut me off or didn't use their blinker or, you know, didn't let me over, I know I still got work to do. And yes, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> listen, I'm, because listen, if you in the car with me while I'm driving, listen, that I, that's my shadow work right there, okay? That's, that's why I brought it up. <laughs> listen. Woo I've come a long way though. Look, well, I will I gotta say this. If, if my sister watches this, she will she will laugh. I was on the phone with my sister um and I was going to Target or something, and somebody needed to get in the space, whatever, and I was just like, go ahead, just go ahead and go. And my sister was like, Excuse me? She's like, Keisha from 10 years ago probably would have got out that car and whooped her ass. I was like, you know what? That's growth, baby. That's growth right there. So I'm, I'm growing, but I still got a lot more growing to do. But that is a really good litmus test now that you say that, because I got some work to do there. I'm not going to lie about that. I just exposed my girl in front of the you camera. You sure did. You sure did, because woo, you sure did. But it's like therapy for me. Yeah. No, it really yeah. is. I find the triggers are just... Like, I'm like, oh, I'm triggered. Oh, I got a lesson. Okay. Ooh, oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. But yeah, yeah, so now you've given me two more topics for the future crystals and how we can utilize them. Um, and before you became a bruja. That's, Ooh, that's gonna baby. Be that's that's going to be the story. How you became the bruja. Yes. Oh, that'll oh, be a, that'll be a good. Say, <laughs> that'll that'll be a good story for yeah, folks. I'm, I'm eager to share or if you are, but yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that's us tonight. Again, we just want all of you, you know, all of us to just have tools and resources to thrive out here, you know, and yeah. that's what it's about. You know, we can sit here and talk all day about any and everything, but we want to make sure this is also a space to take something with you that can be practical because we're really mm -hmm. about practical magic so yeah that's yeah. my jam all right well thank <laughs> you sister thank you thank you until next time until next time <laughs>